Hi everyone, welcome to A Work in Progress. I'm Joanne. Yesterday, I went out on a thrift trip looking for some fabric for my daughter. She wants to make herself a winter coat and came up with this great idea, which I agree with her, uh, to make the coat out of curtains. And she's looking for a winter white fabric. So seeing as how she had been down in my area for the two days prior to that, one being Thanksgiving, and I do hope that you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And the day after that, because we thought North Raleigh Ministries would be open for Black Friday, but sadly they weren't. I told her to just stay in her part of town on Saturday and I would go to North Raleigh Ministries and see if I could find anything because usually their bedding and quilts and blankets and draperies, they have a lot to offer. Well, they didn't have a whole lot to offer because what she wants to do is find drapes to make the coat out of, which I think is a great idea. I didn't find anything for her, but it was not a wasted trip because I found this whole box of stuff, which is kind of a thrift haul for all seasons. I have a Christmas, Easter, Halloween, and I'm not sure what other season is in this box, but I really made out very well. I spent a little, little over $50 and I want to show you everything that I found. And if you are new to my channel, because um, I'm very grateful that I have uh, managed to uh, get a few more subscribers over the past couple of weeks, what I do like to ask everyone is to wait to the end of the video so that you can see everything that I have picked up. And then if you would leave a comment down below and let us all know what your favorite find or maybe your favorite finds were from this haul. And I'll let you know what my favorite find was as well. And sometimes our friend Lewis, who is one of my cats, joins in to let us know what uh, Lewis's favorite find is, but he's not around. He may actually be up on my bed taking a nap. Um, <clears throat> so, on my way out of the thrift store, could not believe I found ice skates. And it's this pair right here. As you can see, they are black. Pretty sure they're, they are men's, and they do say American Wildcat on the back of them. And they have some black and brown in them. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, <coughs> excuse me, I did show a picture of the little girl white skates that I had found at the Durham Rescue Mission bins that I put some greenery in, and I put them up at my booth, and they sold... I put them in one day, they sold the very next day, so I was very, very happy about that. Now these, I'm going to actually break apart. I'm not gonna sell them as a set. I already have the greenery for one of them, and then the other one, I thought I was gonna do something a little different, and I'm gonna put gold in the other one, so black and gold, and we'll see how those turn out. Because, um, like my friend Rhonda suggested, you could use just one on the outside of a door. Uh, and make that your, you know, your holiday decoration on your door. Um, so that's what I'm going to try and do on that. Oh, and here's Lewis. So we'll see if Lewis has his find for today. Hey, Lewis. And you might remember, if you've been with me for just a little while, I found some pool balls a while back, and I found a really pretty vase to put them in. Well... I was a little skeptical on the vase because I thought it was, well, first of all, I showed you the thicker vase that was sort of a, a triangular shape, a nice thick vase, but all the balls did not fit in there. And then there was a second apothecary uh, vase that, or apothecary jar that would have fit them beautifully, but it was a very thin glass. Well, when I was putting the balls into that very thin glass apothecary jar, Sure enough, the glass broke. I'm thankful that it broke while it was in my possession and not up at the booth and possibly could have cut someone. Um, pool balls are very, very hard. I'm not sure what these things are made of, but I did find this round, I guess it could be like a fish bowl. So I have put them into here 
this is a, a thicker glass so i am going to try them in this i want to clean this out i just wanted to put them in here first and see what they look like i'm not a hundred percent on this bowl it's not exactly what i was looking for but it's going to have to do as i do want to get these up to the booth excuse me guys then the next thing i want to show you is down here on the floor this is a huge whoop, galvanized metal star can you see the size of this this is great i'm not going to do a thing to this star i'm just going to price it and put it up into my booth i think it's perfect for now with christmas right around the corner and we'll see how that goes this little guy is adorable he looks like some kind of little snowbird like with the little see the little dots that he has on him on his back there and again i'm not going to do anything to him either i think he's perfect just as he is and he could be in a a large christmas tree he could be a christmas ornament but i thought he was just sweet as sweet could be um this I love their bags at North Raleigh Ministries. They have the best bags where they just kind of bundle things together in bags and then sell them. And this little bag had these angels in them. Um, this one told Rhonda, I hope she wasn't missing her legs. But we have this little angel here. Oh, is that focusing? Yeah, there we go. That little angel. And <laughs> then wait till you see. Oops. This little cow angel. I mean, everybody needs a cow angel, right? This little cow angel with her halo on. Look at how cute that is. And her little tulle skirt. I mean, that is just adorable. And this little kitty. I can't imagine that this little kitty is going to last very long up there. Look at the face that's drawn on there. That is sweet as it can be. So that was one of the bags that I found. Gonna be some rustling of paper here. Um, oh, got this for Halloween. I hope that it works. I have to put a battery in it. I'm really hoping that it works. And I will put a battery in and test it first before I put it away for next year. Um, this is one of the pieces that I picked up for Easter. Is this cute little bunny. And it, it has a lid on it. So you would put some kind of like preserves or something in it. But I thought that was just adorable. And let me pull off some of this paper. What is holding this down? There we go. Oh, this clock is so, so cool. <clears throat> now, Rhonda said that I should take it up, I should um, take the screw out of here and try and see. It was, it has been overwhelmed. It is super, super heavy. It's made out of brass. This is, let me see. It has a, a plastic face on it. Let me see, is that a West? Oh, I did not bring my glasses. Here, you probably will be able to see who that is. The maker of it. I just don't have my glasses on now. This is the coolest clock. Now, I'm actually afraid to take, it does have a screw up there because I'm afraid if I take this apart, as I know the coils in, inside of clocks are wound very tightly and if that uncoils, I'm never gonna get it back again. So I, I don't know, I think that I might just try and sell it as it is, as a decorative piece um, with 
a note on the tag that says that it has been overwhelmed and let the buyer maybe try and fix it or take it to be fixed. I'm afraid to mess with it. This is a perfect Christmas piece for someone's uh, kitchen. This is doesn't have a manufacturer on it. Made in China, dishwasher and microwave safe. But I think that is just perfect for now. Oh, what else do we have in here? Oh, here's another one of the bags that I picked up. These are just nice and plain and simple stocking hangers for the mantle. It's a set of two of them. They're, they're just a little scratched up, but I think that's okay. So I do have some additional Christmas stockings that I want to bring up to the booth, so that, that will be perfect for them. Oh, another bag. Oh, these are so cute. Wait till you see these. Uh, I, I run and I figured these out that they are probably go over lights. There's only a set of six of them. And it's these teeny tiny little jars. And they all have something different on them. And then the light would go into here. So like this one says Noel and... That just has a couple of little holly leaves on it with some berries. A little stocking. Or you could just leave them as, as ornaments. Peace. Joy. Oh, there you go. And a little Christmas tree on a star. thought those were super sweet. I was trying to find, I do have a stash of lights that I, that I keep in a box, but I couldn't find a, a small strand of just six lights. So, uh, what is in here? Oh, another Easter piece that I will put away. And this is a bunny on a nest. On a nest and then a basket <laughs> and I'm not sure that this has a real age to it because it doesn't have the metal uh, rivets in it but this is uh, an empire no general plastic no general foam this one is um, Norfolk Virginia so this one is made in the USA That'll go into my Halloween stash for next year. Oh, these are super pretty. This is not uranium glass for the life of me. I can never, ever, when I find this, remember the name of this glass. And if I do, by the time I, before, when I'm editing this, I, and I remember it, I'll put it down here for you. Or someone can tell me in the comments. But I've found this one, and with a candle in here, that's going to be perfect for Christmas time. Oh, timber. <laughs> and this one here. So we have a set of two of them. One is a little bit taller than the other. A third one would have been perfect. And then this Christmas tree. Oop, ding. We go that Christmas tree just needs to be kind of fluffed up a little bit, and then oh, two more things can't even remember what this is. Yes. Oh, yes, it's a perfume bottle. Look at how beautiful this is, and it has the atomizer on it that is in working condition. Uh, Rhonda was able to read this last, oh, here we go, crystal bottle made in France, and that's a rose on it there. How pretty is that? This, I can't tell if that's metal or plastic on it, but I just thought that was gorgeous. Got that. And then one more thing that I did get picked up for myself. 
because I need a bigger pot for my uh, money plant. It's just too small. And I think one of you told me that it's going to need a bigger pot really, really soon. And you were right. So I picked this one up. I think I'm going to, I'm going to decoupage this or I'm going to do something to it because I'm not a yellow person. So I'm going to do something to this and then put my money plant in it um, so that it has more room to spread out and grow even bigger. So that is everything that I picked up. And here's my receipt. What did I end up spending uh, before the tax? Because I, I don't have a tax ID. Oh, it was $54 even um, before the tax. So what is my favorite? Lewis's favorite <laughs> is the newspaper that's on the floor because he can play in it. Um, my favorite. Let's see here. Um, love the ice skates, but that's for a whole nother reason because I can, I can craft with that and have fun. You know what? I think my favorite is going to be this perfume bottle. I think it's beautiful and I haven't found one with a working atomizer on it in, I don't know how long. So this is going to be my favorite right here. So don't forget, um, I have three things for you to do. Um, let us know in the comment section down below what your favorite find was from today's haul, or if you had more than one, let us all know. Um, second thing is if, actually four. Um, second thing is if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Um, share the video uh, with those that you know enjoy thrift hauls. And fourth, for those of you that are not already subscribed to the channel and do enjoy thrift haul videos, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that all notifications bell so you don't miss any upcoming uh, thrift haul videos. Um, that's all I have for you tonight. I want to thank you so much for watching and um, I will see you in my next video. And as always, everyone, until then, please take very, very good care of yourselves and bye for now.